From Thanksgiving to Black Friday, now Small Business Saturday, a day to celebrate and support the small businesses in our community. News specialist Kara Bracken joins us now live. And Kara, are stores busy today? Hey, yeah, they definitely are, at least where we are today. So we're here in Ogden on historic 25th Street, and that's where a lot of businesses are locally owned. Now, we talked with one of them who say they depend on the sales that are coming in right now. On Small Business Saturday. Hi, how are you guys? Business is bigger. And it's everything we've been preparing for all year. At the end of 25th Street, where Beehive Naturals is buzzing. Soaps and lotions, lip balm, bath salts. Stephanie Gen, owner slash soap boss. Will tell you the naturals part of Beehive Naturals is about as close to home as you can get. So we're based out of Plain City. We have a farm out where we live and we raise goats and honeybees. From the farm. I had it in my blood. To the store. I do all the jewelry and the hats. It's a family business. It'll be 4826. Okay. As much as a lifestyle. But my grandparents had a farm and I spent all my time there. We love to use the milk from our goats for our soap. That's why with inflation hitting pockets. We haven't done a lot of sales, but that's to kind of keep our prices the same everyday price. They get it. So do shoppers. Oh yeah, <laughs> we got plenty of soaps. Ringing up on Small Business Saturday. I mean, everything's expensive, so, <laughs> you know, come support local and just make it count. Especially in this crazy economy where everything is so expensive, they're struggling to sometimes stay open and we like what they offer. There is no such thing as a small purchase. It's just huge. I mean, if you don't, if people don't want this to disappear, you need to come out and support lo local business so it's here, so it's still in the community and, and your dollars are still here in the community. Now, the Ginn family tells me a lot of the money that they're earning at their shop goes right back into their farm animals, and then it's just a cycle of that money going back into their shop to keep that business afloat and, of course, helping out the community in return. For now, they're reporting live in Ogden. I'm Kara Bracken for KSL 5 News.